here at St. Stephen's Catholic Church, and we are ready to begin our nine Tuesdays to St. Anthony. This is a novena of nine days, except that we just pray one prayer, or we pray one day per week for nine weeks leading up to his feast. Now, these nine Tuesdays can be prayed any time during the year, but this is a good time to pray them before his feast. I'd like to draw you, your attention to the statue of St. Anthony here and to point out that there are lilies in front of him right now, which is timely because it's Easter, and we have the lilies to put in front of him. But there is a connection between St. Anthony of Padua and the lilies. But first, let us pray the prayer, opening prayer to be said every Tuesday. Now you can find a printout or a link for a printout, PDF printout, in the description below this video, and you can print it out double-sided uh, binding it on the left short side, or I guess the left short side, well, for you, well, you know which direction is left. Your computer knows which direction is left. And then you can fold it, and there you are. Opening prayer to be said every Tuesday. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. O glorious Saint Anthony, safe refuge of all the afflicted and distressed, who miraculously revealed that all who piously invoke you on nine consecutive Tuesdays will experience your powerful help. I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to you, and with a firm hope, I implore your aid, your counsel, and your blessing. Obtain help for me, dear saint, in my present necessity. Now let us call to mind our intentions for this novena. But if it be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be helpful to my salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for us, blessed Saint Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O gentle and loving St. Anthony, in whose arms the infant Jesus ever loved to linger, grant your powerful aid, and at your word my prayer will be granted. Amen. Now, as to the lilies, and I'm reading here from a little book called The Nine Two Days of St. Anthony of Padua. Can't figure out who published it, but it's published in Italy, and uh, it's given an imprimatur from quite some time ago. So, well, let's, uh, let's learn a little bit about the lilies and St. Anthony. Chapter here called St. Anthony's Lilies. On St. Anthony's Feast, 13th of June, the ceremony of the blessing of lilies takes place. And this custom originated in commemoration of a special manifestation of St. Anthony at Mar Marcasso in Corsica. During one of the revolutions there, the Franciscans were driven into exile, but their church remained open, and a public procession was made to it each year on the Feast of the Wonder Worker. For this occasion, a temporary altar was raised in the center of the main aisle. Garlands of flowers hung above the saint's head, and at his feet were placed roses and other flowers, and lilies of spotless white stood out against the green background of laurel and myrtle. One year, the young man who had been appointed sacristan neglected to remove the statue of St. Anthony at the conclusion of the feast. And after a lapse of several months, he went with a few helpers to the deserted church to complete his work. To their surprise and joy, they found the lilies fresh and white as on the day they had been placed there, while the roses and other flowers lay withered and dead. 
A similar instance of St. Anthony's interest in his clients occurred in Austria in 1680 on the saint's feast. A fresh-cut lily had been placed in one of the hands of his statue, and for a whole year the flower remained as fresh and as white as the first day it was put there. Well, the next year the same stem bore two lilies, which filled the whole church with their fragrance. And this vast fact was testified to by many eyewitnesses, among whom was Don Charles Giotti, who on August 11th, 1681, made an official report of the miraculous event. Well, permission to bless lilies in honor of St. Anthony was given by Pope Leo XIII, and many miracles of healing have been obtained through St. Anthony's intercession after applying the blessed flower. Wow. So now we know about the lilies. You'll often see lilies uh, in statues of St. Anthony. We'll find out more about this image, including why the baby Jesus is there uh, in statues and images of St. Anthony. We'll find that about that in a later video. Let us pray the prayer for the first Tuesday. Blessed St. Anthony, I greet you in the name of the Queen of Angels. I pray that with her you may approach Almighty God with my request and ask that it be granted. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us turn to the back cover for the efficacious prayer to St. Anthony. O holy Saint Anthony, one of the gentlest and kindest of all the saints, your burning love of God, your exalted virtue, and your great charity toward your fellow creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers of an exalted kind. Miracles waited on your word, and that word you were ever ready to speak at the request of those in trouble. The anxious prayer of bitter trial was never addressed to you in vain. To the sick, you gave back help. You restored what was lost. The sorrow-stricken were the objects of your tender compassion. Even the dead you raised to life when the wounded heart cried out to you from the depths of its anguish. When on earth nothing was impossible to you except not to have compassion on those in distress and sorrow. Encouraged by this thought and convinced of the efficacy of your intercession, I kneel before your holy image. And full of confidence, I implore of you to obtain for me my request. The answer to this, my prayer, may require a miracle. Even so, are you not the saint of miracles, who when on earth had but to speak, and the mightiest wonders were wrought? O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my prayer into the ears of the infant Jesus, who loved to linger in your arms. One word from you and my prayer will be granted. O oh, speak that word, and the gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.